Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Foundation and College Boards of Trustees, welcome back to the Friday Afternoon Recital Series. I'm Ken Malagier, Executive Director of the Ocean County College Foundation. This afternoon, we will hear Rachmaninoff's Suite No. 2 for two pianos, Opus 17, performed live on a matched pair of Borsendorfer Model 290 Imperial Grand Pianos, the largest and most powerful pianos currently made. The performance will feature the artistry of OCC College lecturer Brian Gilmore and engaged Ocean County community member and foundation supporter Richard A. Askoff. All donations received from this virtual event will benefit the Friday afternoon recital series for our campus and the broader community to enjoy, as well as benefiting the music club at Ocean County College. In honor of Mother's Day, all registrants have been entered into a drawing for an exclusive giveaway from Narcissus Florals. The winner will be contacted after the performance to collect their prize. There is still time to make a contribution, so please be as generous as you are able. We hope you will enjoy this virtual experience, and we are looking forward to welcoming you back live this fall for the full suite right here at Ocean County College. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you very much, Ken. My name is Brian Gilmore, and this is my friend and colleague, Rick Askoff. I am a lecturer in music at Ocean County College, as well as the founder and curator of the Friday Afternoon Recital Series, and one of several different faculty advisors for Ocean County College's Music Club. Being that this event is a fundraiser for the Recital Series and for Music Club, I thought it pertinent just to talk for a moment about some of our goals here uh, as a college. And really what we're looking to do is to create an inclusive community, a network of musicians uh, and music lovers, be they faculty, student, community members, and this can range from music teachers in the community, private teachers, to their students, high school students, uh, retirees, amateur musicians, professionals that are doing something else with their life. But our goal is really to bring people together for the love of music, to celebrate music, um, and their role could just be as a listener, as we have concerts in this series, or it could be to get involved. Um, there's nothing that we love more than to intermingle faculty, students, community members, and really that's where Rick comes into this project. Right. Yeah, I, I'm, I fit several of those categories. I am, I'm not a professional musician, uh, but I did go to college for, for music way back when. Uh, at a small school in upstate New York. Uh, matter of fact, kind of like this one. Mm -hmm. um, there I did get my undergraduate degree in, in music and piano, but you know, life takes you on different paths, and in my case, I wound up going to law school, and I recently retired, actually, after spending 30-plus years as a practicing attorney uh, specializing in telecommunications law of all things, but I kept up with the piano, at least a little bit, you know, and um, one of the things that I always wanted to get was a, uh, my own grand piano. So I did. I had a regular one for a long time, you know, one that fit in most rooms, and, um, you know, one of the things that's really special about this concert, as Ken pointed out, is that we're playing this on these, these Busendorfer grands, these are imperial grands. Um, what is it that makes these pianos special? All right, so there's a ton of features we could potentially talk about, but I think we'll just look at the most obvious ones. So the fact that they are nine and a half foot long concert grands are extraordinary in and of itself. Um, but this specific model, this make of piano, um, what is it, the 290 right. model? Um, the Imperial Grand uh, has more keys than a standard piano. Pianos are outfitted with 88 keys. That's where the evolution of the instrument has taken us, and that's where piano makers have settled and said, that's it, with the exception of Bosendorfer. Um, these instruments have nine extra keys in the bass register, and those nine extra keys fill out the contrabass, 
We haven't been tuning them because they are very expensive, because they're more akin to uh, bridge cables than actual piano strings, but this will just give you an idea. They're quite stunning. So even though we rarely actually use those notes in repertoire, because there's just, I'd say there's probably about a half dozen pieces of music that are actually written for notes in that range. Um, but when we utilize the sustain pedal and open all the dampers, we get this sympathetic resonance, which really enriches the tone and adds this direction uh, of warmth and darkness to it, which is right. really wonderful. So what about the piece? Uh, it's created in four movements, just like his first suite back that he wrote in 1893 is. Um, and in this case, the movements are introduction, a waltz movement, a romance, and the finale is a tarantella. So you're welcome to talk a little bit about some of these too. So what, what, what does the introduction mean to you? Well, the, uh, the introduction's a march, uh, but it's written about as with as much sound and as richly as it's possible to write a piano piece. The, um, we play mostly the same music. It's almost always doubled at the octaves, meaning you know I might play lower notes and he plays higher notes. Um, but what a great piece to show off what these pianos can do. Yeah, these sonorities. It's really, yeah. really. There's a lot of triple fortes in here, and, yeah. and it, you know our. And I, and I don't think any less ever than four notes in a chord, and they run rampant throughout the entire right. piece. So yeah, that's a very thickly written yeah. piece. Then the waltz, in contrast, mm -hmm. is as light as champagne bubbles. Yeah, you know? absolutely. It, it, it sort of opens with this flash of energy, and then we get this running waltz melody, which just twists and turns, and it's light, and it's elegant, and it's quirky. Plus, it's got some great beautiful melodies mm -hmm. in it that I mostly get to play. Mm -hmm. So I'm <laughs> happy about that. Yeah. Although we do trade off equally mm -hmm. quite a bit. Yeah. These, these yeah. Things. And I think that's one of the wonderful things about the way Rachmaninoff wrote these suites. I mean, the, the first suite is very different from this one. But the, the idea that the pianists are passing off melodic roles and embellishing roles constantly is, is just something that's wonderful because no one's ever simply in the accompanying role or having boring music. You either have these lush, gorgeous, Rachmaninoff melodies or this very challenging but fun to play passage work right. and I guess that sort of brings us into the romance itself. Again, a beautiful piece, loads of wonderful melodies but we share them about equally mm -hmm. in this one. You get to start out with the tune and then I take the tune and we go back and forth like that through the whole piece and it's just, yeah. it's as everything that people would expect from a Rachmaninoff piece. Mm -hmm. you know, very <laughs> romantic, very lush, it's just wonderful, it's just wonderful to play. Yeah, one of the really beautiful and intriguing things about this piece, the melody itself is so simple, yet expressed as really an ascending scale pattern. But what writing a melody that simple allows Rachmaninoff to do is sort of superimpose it upon itself at various different rhythmical dimensions. And it's, it's just wonderful because it's like solving a puzzle, you know, as we're working on this piece, just finding all over. It's, it's woven everywhere in the piece. Right. Yeah. So you can imagine a melody that goes in seven equal notes and then mm -hmm. there's one underneath the same melody mm -hmm. but it stretches out for two versions mm -hmm. of the other one and then there's a third one on top of that at a different speed. Mm -hmm. uh, they're delightful to pay attention to. So yeah, we really enjoyed that. And so the finale. The finale, is. yes, right. Can we'll talk a little bit about tarantellas? The finale is a tarantella, which uh, is we, we know is a uh, dance that one does when bitten by a tarantula or a spider. You know? <laughs> it's, the, it's supposedly a dance that you can do to uh, get rid of the effects of a spider bite, I think. That's, mm -hmm. that's anyhow, so it's wild, very fast, uh, lots of loud, violent playing and some, some good tunes in there too, mm -hmm. uh, but just a load of fun to play. Yeah, and wonderful uh, contrast, just that turn on a, turn on a dime yes. in a hair's breadth from, from beautiful intricacy to violent outbursts. So. Yeah, and once again, the capabilities of these pianos mm -hmm. to make that amount of sound uh, really has just been a joy to work with on the thing. You know, yeah. they're, they're, they're so it's been our pleasure to work on these pieces, and it's also our great pleasure to present them to you.
Wow. Bravo, gentlemen. That was tremendous. Brian and Rick, we cannot thank you enough for sharing with us your time and tremendous talent this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, with your help, we have raised over $5,000 to support the Music Club at Ocean County College and this recital series. We cannot wait to welcome you back onto our beautiful campus at Ocean County College for our afternoon recital series as soon as it is safe to do so. This event will be accessible on all Grunin Center social media channels for your future enjoyment. And one last bit of business to take care of this afternoon. Sherry Bray, our director of special events who has worked hard with everyone for this program, lets me know that Heidi Valvano of Toms River, New Jersey is the recipient of that beautiful gift provided by Narcissus Florals. It will be hand delivered to your home and we will reach out to you to discuss delivery details. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so very much. Rick and Brian, your talent is tremendous. We will see you again soon. We hope that you enjoy the balance of what is already a beautiful day and to these gentlemen for making it even more beautiful. Thank you all.